Blue Satellite Wireless Noise Cancelling Headphones. Blue has been building quite a selection of headphones over the past year or so. The company just recently launched its full lineup of wired headphones, including the Blue Ella, Blue Sadie, and Blue Lola headphones. Now, however, it's back with a wireless pair, the Blue Satellite headphones. The satellite looks a little different than the other headphones Blue has on offer, but that doesn't mean it's not of the same caliber of quality. In fact, like some of Blue's other headphones they feature a built-in headphone amplifier. But are they worth the $399? We put them to the test to find out. The first thing you'll notice when you get the headphones out of the box is their design, and they look quite good. They come in black and silver or white and brown, and both look premium and well built. As was the case with Blue's other recent headphone releases, they're quite bulky, and while that's not inherently a bad thing, it is something to keep in mind if you're looking for something ultra portable. The first thing you'll notice when you get the headphones out of the box is their design, and they look quite good. They come in black and silver or white and brown, and both look premium and well built. As was the case with Blue's other recent headphone releases, they're quite bulky, and while that's not inherently a bad thing, it is something to keep in mind if you're looking for something ultra portable. In the box, you'll find the headphones themselves, along with a nice hard case, a Microsoft charging cable, and a nice and long 3.5mm audio cable. It's really a good selection of accessories, and there's not much more you need to come with the can. In general, the Blue Satellite headphones look pretty nice, and while the placement of all the buttons and controls isn't the most intuitive, it's also not a deal breaker. Blue is known for delivering an excellent sound quality, something that's only expected to continue with the Blue Satellite headphones. Thankfully, they performed quite well. For starters the bass on these headphones is deep and thick, and it's clear a lot of attention to detail has been put into the bass response here. Eminem's Lose Yourself boasts a ton of rumble in the low end, while even tracks with a little less bass emphasis get a nice kick. The low mids continue the trend of being quite boosted in the low end, and overall it gives the headphones quite a warm feel. There are times when that low end boost gets a little muddy, but it's not unbearable, and certainly not a deal breaker. The high mids seem a little more toned down compared to the low mids, though there's still plenty of room for things like vocals and guitars to shine through a mix. The high end is clear and concise, which is good to hear. Cymbals shine through quite well and vocals are crisp and cutting. Strings on orchestral music get a nice timbre to them too. It's important to note that these headphones aren't aimed at sounding overly natural. Audiophiles out there may not be too impressed with the sound these have on offer, they boost the lows, and tune the highs. That being said, if all you want is a great listening experience and don't care much about how natural they sound, then the Blue Satellites have a lot to offer. The sound stage on these headphones is nice and wide, and the headphones didn't distort easily at all, no matter whether the amplifier was activated or not. Speaking of deactivating the amplifier, we found that doing so caused the sound to be slightly less bass heavy and slightly less clear in the high end, but the headphones still sounded great, so if you find yourself with no battery life left, don't worry too much. These headphones don't just have a built-in amplifier, they also have noise cancellation, which works quite well. The large majority of outside noise is toned down at least a little, even hard to predict sounds like talking. It's not the best noise cancellation in the business, but it's pretty good and helps make the headphones great for things like long flights. There is a small issue with the sound of the Blue Satellite headphones, and that's that the Bluetooth connection seems to be quite noisy, more so than other headphones. That issue varies depending on whether or not you have the amplifier and noise cancellation activated, but it's still audible. The only was we found to get rid of it is to disconnect Bluetooth. It's important to note that the buzzing introduced is very quiet, and you won't hear it at all when you're listening to music, but it's certainly noticeable when you're not.